Hey YouTube family, I've been watching Project Pan videos and you know it is that time of the year when we start to take on the resolutions. So I've been watching new news, she progressed the whole year with her Project Pan. So I'm like, you know, I got, I could use a few Project Pans myself. I've got just a few things that I'd like to complete the use of. And so I've decided that for 2015, I am going to do a project pan because I have some I have some ancient palettes that I am still wearing. <laughs> so it's just about that time. I do love these palettes. You cannot purchase them anymore. But it's time for me to just go ahead and use them consistently and finish them. I will not throw them out because I love these colors and I cannot buy them again. The reason why it took me so long to use them is because after I bought them, I was so thinking I should have bought more. So I've been stretching them for years. Uh, it, I'm getting close to the decade mark. Look at this palette. You see that? That is sun damage. Do you ever see sun damage on a palette? But, you know, it's still a good palette. It's just got a little sun damage on it. It's, it's made quite a few trips. I don't even know the name of it, but it's by Fashion Fair. I've never used a mirror, but um, yeah, I've hit pan. I got these three are empty. I used them up and the little thing fell out. And now I got this lipstick on here. This is an old Fashion Fair color, which they discontinued on me. It was my favorite red. It's called Reggae Red. So I got just that much reggae red left. And I started thinking, I need to start trying to find a dupe for that because this is my favorite red in the whole wide world. It is a very blue red. It looks very, see, it looks very Hollywood on me. And then this is a brown neutral color lip gloss that I love as well. This was another brown that is, you know, gone on to heaven. So I got two left there. I hit pan on this golden tone here, which is very neutral for me. This is a peach apricot color that just looks great on me as well. I haven't hit pan on that yet. And then I've got this medium brown here that's a great transition color. Purple. It's a great purple. But I, I don't wear, I wear purple, but I don't wear a lot of purple. So as you can see, I've been using it, but it's just not... I will, I, I tend to wear more green than purple. And then this color is just, I love this color. Oh my goodness. It is, I love it. And then this color is an accent color, but as you can see, I don't wear that much of it. Whereas this color here, I will take and put all over my eyes. These two blushes will probably be with me forever because it, they're very highly pigmented. It doesn't take much. And they, the colors just look so good on me. I'm wearing, I, I don't have it on right now, but I often wear this cranberry all winter long. And then in the, the um, fall, I wear this color all the time. And then once those seasons are over, I switch to a different blush. So this blush lasts me forever. So I need to use this palette up in 2015, which means I need to use it more than one season. Here's another stall. Well, this is Posner's, guys. Yes, I hit pan on it. I hit pan on it a long time ago. I have this on my brows right now. And I just, I, I actually like other things better now. I don't use black that much anymore. So that's why I have this left. I've used up a lot of dark brown brow powders. And I have this black left because this was when I first started using Discover Brow Powder. I thought I needed black because I'm so dark. And black actually looks kind of gray on me. I have it on right now. So now I, I oftentimes use dark browns and I understand how to use them to get them to work. When I remember, this is my inner eye pencil. This is Golden Air by MAC. But you see how much I have? And I've had this forever, maybe three years. And I, I, don't, I forget to use it. Like I don't have on an inner eye right now. I probably should do that. I'll do that right now at least. Because I'm not going to use it up if I don't remember to use it. 
See the difference? Put a little bit more on. But it's one of those steps that, like, it's just a little bit brighter. It makes my eyes look bigger, which I like. And this is a very hard pencil, so I'll probably have to use this like every day to finish it within a year because it's, I used it and I don't know if you can see the shine on it, but see there, it's very close to my skin color, but it just brightens up. It's the perfect inner eye rim color for me. And I could probably use it on the brows and stuff like that, but I don't because I guess I need to use it up. But I don't want to because I'm thinking, shoot, this is expensive. I don't want to have to buy another one. But it's really good. It doesn't cause me allergies. Golden Air by MAC. I don't know if it's been discontinued or not. This is, uh, oh, it's got some numbers on there. Maybe this is 31. Maybe that's the number on this pencil. I see a 31 at the bottom. But I use this often by Wet n Wild. I have it on right now. See that color right there? I have it as my papa color. So I want to complete this pencil. I used to use it as my purple lip color and then I quit doing that. And so I ended up, this is about halfway. I got to halfway and then I just quit. But I won't throw it away because it's a good pencil. So I'm just gonna finish off the, I'm gonna force myself to finish off the other half of this pencil and wear this color even sometimes when I don't really wanna wear purple. Like I said, I, I like purple, but I love green. So <laughs> that's just it. And I have this. This is New York cream stick. It is something I use all the time, but I remember a product that I used to love that was discontinued. And so and I find that oftentimes now I will just use my eyeshadows because of my skin tone. A lot of eyeshadows work just as well as that. If the eyeshadow is sheer and golden like what I have on my eyes now, I can use that just as well, but I need to use this up. And in the winter time, it's perfect because it's got a nice creamy consistency, so I won't look all cakey if I use this product. And it is a beautiful, it is a beautiful color there. So I wanna complete this. I'm probably about halfway finished with it, so I should be able to finish that in 2015. And I'm feeling this fear, even as I'm doing this, I'm feeling this fear that I won't be able to get, replace these products, but I'm just gonna have to trust that I will be able to. And then there's this one. <laughs> yeah, you guys, Project Pan, yeah, I hit Pan, but you'd be surprised, like I have this on right now. That's my contour. Like I said, I love green. This is a deep, rich hunter green, and I love this, you know. That's, I prefer that to black or brown or purple. I just feel like because of where it is on the color wheel, that green gives me the perfect contour. I don't have to worry about it being dark. It, it Because it contrasts with my skin color, it gives me that effect of contour without me having to work for it. Like you see, this green and this black, the black went gray and the darkness of it the green actually looks darker to me. So maybe if I were willing to use green eyebrow and they just can discontinue this color. I saw it on sale at Rite Aid for half price. This is a gunmetal set. The other color on the other side was khaki, which was my favorite color to wear on my lid. It's, yeah, it's, it's past tense. And this being contour and also for eyeliner, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm going to have to try to finish this off this year. I'm gonna be more diligent about this. This is uh, what I use for my base right now. This is what I use. It's Milani's Mousse Foundation. I use this as a primer. It's very moisturized and I have dry skin in the winter time. So I need to remember to use this in the winter because if it makes it to summer, I think it might be a little bit too greasy for me for summer. I got this Milani powder and I want to make sure to use it. I, I like powder and it gives me a nice finished look. So I, wanna, I think I'm about 
one third finished with it and I've only been using it a month so within three months I hope to be finished with the rest of this powder and then there is this this is an eyeliner that I love I just got this for Christmas at a gift exchange but look at that color it is dark brown and my skin tone is so odd dark browns can often look just as dark on me as a black I mean it just unless the black is the blackest black I can get a lot of depth and and I have this on right now but the reason why I want to use finish this is because I think these kind of products should only be used for a very short period of time so I'm trying to wear a thicker eyeliner because I love it. it 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 works so well for me I uh, got it all winged out there and I'm gonna try maybe even go in a, even thicker with the eyeliner there because this is still kind of natural you know so I've seen some really thick bold eyeliner so maybe I'll play around with that with this so I can make sure that it doesn't go past the three months just started this mascara I want to make sure I use it in three months this is a brown there's the color of it this is medium brown so this color is it just leaves my eyelashes looking like they have a halo in them and you don't see the full length until I put black on I'm using this right here which is it's at its end but I feel like I might be able to get so it's really cheating to put this one in there this one's definitely gonna go but this is a new one I want to make sure I use this one up in three months all winter I've been using this color here by Milani it's body glow 02 and I like this color in the winter it's kind of a rose gold and all winter I've been loving rose gold I've just been adoring rose gold I mean yes this is all over my face over my primer before I put any other makeup on so that my makeup doesn't look too ashy you know I like to glow so those are the those are the first set of pro products in my 2015 project pan that I would like to use. I mean, I'm feeling convoluted here because I feel like I had a hard time finding those products and I really have a hard time finding products like I really want this lipstick again. But um, I will just have to trust that if I'm diligent, if I'm wearing it, I can just keep on buying red lipsticks until I find one like it, even though I haven't found one like it yet. Okay. And uh, oh, and I want to use this uh, this winter I just got this in my Target fall box it is L'Oreal's Ruby Opera I, I have this on right now too it's gorgeous I love this right here and but I want to wear red I'm thinking is there something on my face I think there was well I'm sorry about that guys I just came from eating and um I want to use this color uh, right here and I want to use that by I think I should I should be able to wear this in the winter time because it's nice and moisturizing and soothing in the winter time and then by summer I'll be on to something else more fun see right now I want to switch to something else more fun and then save this again for next year but I'm gonna try not to do that so thank you I'm going to try to do like Nunu. Shout out to Nunu for giving me the inspiration to do this and just update periodically through the year. If I keep it up, if I don't keep it up, you'll never hear about this again. <laughs> so thank you for watching my videos. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. You know, check me out regularly. I'm trying to do some things on this channel. It should be fun. Talk to you later. Bye bye.